When it comes to investing into dividend growth stocks, the power of compounding is truly magical. And until you actually find a high quality dividend growth ETF like SCHD, for example, break down the specific numbers and see it for yourself, it's probably hard to believe. But in this video, I'm going to show you the exact numbers and how just $10 per day invested into something like the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF could not only change your financial future, but also the future for your family. Now, if you love dividend growth investing and want to build wealth long term, make sure to drop a like down below, subscribe, and let's get right into it. Real quick for those that haven't already, make sure to go to the first link in my description and grab my new dividend investing ebook where I share exactly how I went from $0 invested to now earning over $6,000 on a monthly basis and over $1 million invested in the market. Along with the ebook, you're also going to receive my custom dividend tracker where you can track your dividend progress on an ongoing basis and reach your dividend investing goals. So make sure to grab yourself a copy of my dividend investing ebook and the new dividend tracker today. It's the first link in my description. So first, before we go over the actual numbers and I show you the proof on how just $10 per day invested into something like SCHD could change everything financially for your future. Let's first go over SCHD ETF and some of the reasoning on why I'm even using this ETF as an example in the first place. Now, first, let me preface by saying there's tons of other ETFs that are super high quality and offer similar attributes just like SCHD across the market. But for this video's sake, we're going to be talking about doing this with SCHD. Now, this ETF's objective is pretty simple. It's to track as closely as possible before fees and expenses the total return of the Dow Jones US Dividend 100 Index. Now, this index is made up of around 100 different holdings, and most of these names are going to be very familiar to you. Things like Verizon, things like Chevron, we have PepsiCo, Bristol Myers, Cisco, etc., etc. Now, all the stocks that make it within the underlying index have to go through multiple rigorous screenings, which makes this index pretty bulletproof, at least if you ask me. And to be honest, for anyone holding onto SHD, I think it's very important to know some of these facts if you are going to hold on to this ETF long term. So the methodology says Dow Jones US Dividend 100 Index, Index Universe. The Index Universe is defined as the constituents of the Dow Jones US Broad Stock Market Index, excluding REITs. So even though REITs are great, I'm a huge fan of REITs, they are not going to be included into this index. It then says stocks must pass the following screens. Minimum 10 consecutive years of dividend payments, minimum FMC of US 500 million, minimum three month ADVT of $2 million US. Stocks passing all three screens are ranked in descending order by IAD yield, defined as the stock's IAD, not including any special dividends, divided by its price. The top half of securities based on its rankings are eligible for stock selection. The reference date for dividend payments history is the last business day of December, while FMC and ADVT are as of the last business day of February. Now, the index construction, also very important. Constituent selection is as follows. The eligible securities are ranked by each of four fundamental base characteristics. Things like free cash flow to total debt, annual net cash flow from operating activities divided by total debt. Companies with zero total debt are ranked first. Then return on equity, annual net income divided by total shareholder equity. Then IAD yield, and then five-year dividend growth rate defined as this equation below. It then says the four rankings are equal weighted to create a composite score and the eligible securities are ranked based on the composite score. The top 100 ranked stocks by the composite scores are selected to the index subject to the following buffer rules that favor current constituents during the annual review, which are the constituent stocks will remain in the index as long as they are among the top 200 rankings by the composite scores. Now, SCHD also offers a 0 0.06 expense ratio, which means that if you buy into this ETF, it is going to cost you pretty close to nothing, which is not really going to be a big deal if you just have a share or two of it, of course, but over time, as you build a substantial position, hopefully, it definitely could add up. So this is also an important thing to look for. Now, to refocus on the question, why SCHD? Why is this a potential good investment vehicle for long-term buy and hold forever investors that want to build significant wealth. Well, we talked about the expense ratio being super cheap. We also talked about the fact that the underlying holdings are, at least in my opinion, relatively safe, not only pay dividends, but have consistently paid more and more in dividends over time, which we're going to touch on here in a second. But also SCHD, as far as since inception, is up around 211%. And pretty much since the CTF started, although there's been periods where it's traded sideways or even down a little bit, basically always recovered. And I have a good feeling SCHD will be trading above $90, at least within the next few years. But here's where the real magic is. This is where the power of compounding really kicks in. The fact that SCHD pays a dividend yield of around 3.38% starting. 
But not only that, if you look at the dividend growth rate for this ETF, it's paid more and more in dividends around say five or 10% more and more year after year. Now what this means that if you buy into SCG today, most likely at least going off of historical numbers, you are going to get paid more in dividends this time next year. And although we can't tell the future, the year after that, most likely you should be getting paid more and more after that. Now to illustrate this, for example, in 2023, December, SCHD paid a quarterly dividend of 74 cents. And in December, 2013, 10 years prior, this ETF just paid a quarter. So that means investors that bought into this ETF back around 10 years ago were paid around three times as much in dividend income as they got around 10 years prior. Now this is going to be a significant reason on why a relatively small amount of money invested into an ETF like this can turn it into a boatload of income and a boatload of money later on down the line. So regardless on whichever time frame you look at more or less, the SCHD ETF has continued to pay more and more in dividends year after year for the most part, every single year since this ETF's inception. Now, even if you were to downplay the dividend growth rate that SCHD has had so far, even if you were to say the dividends paid by SCHD are going to be moving forward, let's say, five to seven to eight percent on a yearly basis that means that on a yearly basis you are going to get a raise in the form of quarterly paid dividends of say six seven or eight percent every single year ongoingly which is going to easily keep up with the rate of inflation if inflation stays around say two or four percent on a yearly basis which brings me into the final aspect of this video, going over the exact numbers and sharing with you how just $10 per day, yes, just a $10 bill every single day, invested into something like SHG can potentially change your entire life and the life of your family's financial future because of the magic power of compounding. So if an investor started with $10,000, let's say, of course you could start with less or you could start with more, but just for the sake of this video, let's say $10,000 starting. Then on top of that, $3,650 per year of annual contribution. There's 365 days in a year and we're doing $10 per day, so it's simple math. The initial dividend yield is going to be around 3.4%. We just went over SCHD's dividend and it's somewhere of around 3.3 or 3.4% initially. The expected annual dividend amount increase, of course these numbers are all just estimated, we don't know what the future is going to look like, but let's go off on 9%. There was plenty of years in the past where SCHD paid more than this and even less than this. Let's go with 9% though. A 4% expected annual share price appreciation. Dividends are quarterly, drip is turned on, so again, all the dividends are going to be reinvested along the time this investor is investing. So the numbers are in, and this is exactly how an investor, in theory, of course, going off of these numbers, could turn a $10 per day investment into SEHD into a massive, massive nest egg later on. So year one, a $10,000 investment into this ETF would pay you around $344 in dividends. And after that year with the contribution of $10 per day, this investor would now have a balance of around $14,300. Now skipping right ahead by year number five, this investor already has almost $30,000. So just by investing $10 a day, this investor basically tripled their net worth within just five years. Now a side note, of course, before we go any further, if an investor chooses to contribute more, the numbers are only going to get more and more massive. Now skipping down even further, 13, 14 years in, this portfolio is already over $100,000 and this was just with a $10,000 investment and 10 bucks per day. 20 years in, this portfolio is now almost a quarter million dollars. Now, I don't know about you, but $10 per day turned into a quarter million dollars after 20 years. I get it, it takes some time, but either way, that's still very, very impressive. Now, all the way at the bottom, I promise the potential for massive numbers. If an investor did this for 30 years in theory, going off of the numbers that we went off of at least, this investor in theory could turn $10,000 plus $10 per day invested into SCHD with dividends reinvested the entire way into $1,045,000 and a portfolio that's now earning north of $145,000 per year. Now I get it, not everyone has a $10,000 starting principal amounts, and not everyone even has $10 per day to invest into something like this. But it just goes to show that a relatively small amount of money invested, we're talking $10,000 and $10 per day, can turn a small portfolio that started with just $10,000 plus the annual contribution into a massive, massive nest egg later on. Now this is something kind of fun I like to do, and I definitely recommend all of you guys plugging in your own numbers in a dividend calculator, there's tons of free once just google it but if an investor did this for 40 years let's say an investor did this and then pass this portfolio on to their kids etc cetera, etc cetera. 31 years in this portfolio is now at 1.236 million 35 years in it's at 2.5 million almost four hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars per year in dividends and as you can see 40 years later this ten thousand dollar portfolio which is 10 bucks invested per day is now north of 7.4 million dollars and over a million dollars per year in dividends now over time, things are going to change, dividend growth rates are going to change, but my point still remains, 
a relatively small amount of money invested into a super high quality ETF like SEHD, like VU, like SPY. There's tons of them out there. I'm not saying this can only be done with one ETF, but a small amount of money invested consistently over the long term can create a massive compounding effect like we saw in this video. But lastly, most importantly, now I want to hear from you guys down below. Which ETF are you currently using to build a massive, massive portfolio later on down the line? Drop the ticker symbol of the ETF in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by. And if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.